Crossing Steve Biko Bridge over the mighty Buffalo River on our way to Ubukosi village at the great place of Ngaisha, I feel a surge of pride. I've come home to the place of my forefathers, the cradle of African democracy, where great leaders are born. I am on a journey to rediscover the noble spirit of the legendary Khakabe Kingdom. For two centuries, battle raged here, first against colonialism, and then against apartheid and its Bantustan system. In acknowledgement of the many Khakabe people who lost their lives in the pursuit of freedom, Ilifa Trails, a project of the Khakabe Kingdom and the Steve Bigo Foundation, was established. Now a place of reconciliation and building, the Khakabe Kingdom proudly introduces us to this landscape, a history that shaped the course of South Africa's destiny, the people, the vast open spaces and natural wonders. Ilifa Trails brings out the Khakabe Kingdom's true colors through its history. It's about identity, understanding where we come from, restoring people's dignity. It's with a sense of fulfillment and pride that our guides share this rich heritage with us. Our journey with Ilifa Trails crosses the Steve Biko Bridge and follows the Biko Trail from the statue of Steve Biko in East London city centre, his former office in Leopold Street, the Steve Biko Foundation in King Williamstown, the Steve Biko Monument in Ginsberg Township, the Steve Biko Garden of Remembrance, to our destination, the gateway of the kingdom, Ubukosi village at Ngaisha. Great place of reigning King Makobaya Kaulesa Sandile. Tonight, a Boma evening of fireside tales and friendships, inspired by a truly excellent traditional meal, followed by the sleep of kings. The early morning is cloaked in stillness, befitting for this, the final resting place of Khakabe royalty. Keeping watch over Mnesha Valley, the imposing Sandile Royal Monument. past the great place. Hence, the name of this river or stream is called Mesha. En route to Sandile Caves, we visit Zanempilo Clinic, a rural community health center established by Steve Biko 
as part of the movement to combat racism. We meet up with rangers at Maiden Dam. The intrepid follow up the hillside, while the less adventurous bask in the beauty of the kingdom. As we reach the summit, the story unfolds before us. At the grave of Sandile, we pay our respects before returning to Ubukosi village. I'm Golombane! I'm Golombane! <laughs> In celebration of the guidance of our ancestors, a night of culinary feast and cultural spectacle begins. The next morning we gather at Imbali Museum. The museum houses a living treasure of Kosa culture and tradition. Of the history of kings, battles and heroism of the healing force knowledge it's an incredible journey of discovery and for me it's just the beginning I feel at one with the spirit of this great and noble kingdom. You'll feel it too.